growing concerns for some of America's most experienced political leaders stemming from another startling health scare from Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell. Yeah, the senator appeared to freeze up speaking to reporters Wednesday in Kentucky. This is now the second episode for the 81-year-old Senate Minority Leader in recent weeks. CBN Washington correspondent Hillary Powell is digging into the issue. Hillary, what's the latest on senators, uh, Senator McConnell's status? Well, a spokesperson confirms to me that the senator's doctor has cleared Leader McConnell to continue with his schedule as planned. But this latest scare is really raising more questions about the age of politicians on both sides of the aisle. Nearly 30 seconds of sudden silence Wednesday from the Senate's top Republican Mitch McConnell during a press conference is raising concerns on whether he's still fit to serve in office. Video from a local news station shows after 81-year-old McConnell was asked whether he would run for re-election, he trails off and stares straight ahead for about 10 seconds. Anything else you want to say? I'm sure it's go back to the incident comes more than a month after McConnell had a similar freeze-up mid-sentence while speaking to the press on Capitol Hill. The following day, 90-year-old California Senator Dianne Feinstein appeared confused during a committee meeting. Yeah, just say aye. Okay, just aye. Aye. Nearly a fourth of Capitol Hill lawmakers are over 70 years old. No boundaries exist for a maximum age to hold elected office. GOP presidential hopeful Nikki Haley tells CBN's Faith Nation the status of a politician's mental fitness is pertinent to their ability to serve. We seriously need to have a conversation that if you're going to have anyone above a certain age mm -hmm. in a position of power, whether it's the House, whether it's the Senate, whether it's vice president, whether it's president, mm -hmm. you should have some sort of cognitive test. ABC oh chief medical correspondent Dr. Jennifer Ashton says when aging, not being able to speak or respond on command is cause for concern. Warrant urgent neurologic evaluation. Hours after the incident in a series of tweets, Representative Dean Phillips expressed concern for McConnell and says though he supports term limits, he writes, it would require amending our Constitution. Nonpartisan group U.S. term limits contends age is just a number. What's needed is more turnover in Congress. Age really is not an issue when you have regular rotation in office or term limits like our, like our founders intended. So there's nothing ageist about term limits, but it does help solve the problem of our gerontocracy in Washington, which is getting severe. President Joe Biden says he'll be in touch with McConnell. A new AP Newark poll released this week shows age continues to be a concern for voters. Three quarters of the public think President Joe Biden is too old to serve another term. And although Donald Trump is only three years younger than Biden, only about half of adults agree that he is too old to effectively serve another term.